that? How old are you? Don't answer that. 46. All right. Rude. All right. All right. The 46, because I'm 31. I'm not offended. All right. Well, I know you wouldn't be as well. Yeah. 46. Well, the reason I ask is I'm 31, and you got to look to people that are older than you yes. to get advice that's been calculated. You've been through failures, been through successes. Yes. What if you could go back in time and tell your 31 self something today that would inspire you to be better at 46? Great question. What would that be? I think it would be to not get sidetracked from your own personal goal. You know, just staying focused. That seems like such a cliche statement, but and then again, though, like, you know, I, I have, like, the children guilt and the mommy guilt, you know, so it's a little, do you have daddy guilt? I don't have any daddy guilt. Really? You need to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so it, it, it was tough for me to separate. So then, you know, I would feel like I wasn't doing enough or, you know, it's just the focus was lost. Yeah. So, but, um, and my failures, they're all part of my successes. So yeah. I never really get run down. I'm not a negative mini. Mm -hmm. So if I start feeling a little bit negative on myself, it's just, I gotta just regroup, go out for a walk, you know? And my kids, I'm like, if you've got a problem, find a solution. Yeah. I mean, so when you hit the, I mean, I'm still gonna have some failures, but it's just how I'm gonna fix them. You know, if I could go back 10 years ago, which would be 21 years old, I was living for Saturday night. And I cared so much about what everybody thought of me. I cared so much about if I did anything that was outside of the realm of normal, mm -hmm. how people would perceive me as a person. Um, and it's weird because in 10 years, I'm like on the other extreme. Yeah. I don't at? care at all now. <laughs> I have and a good it's been saying so... right here, interjection. What other people think of you is none of your business. Ooh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah. Anyway. I know I can be. You know, we can all be. It's just doing. It's doing. It's the, you know, some people though don't T have taking that. Taking action. Taking action. But some people really don't even have that. We get sidetracked in the office. We come into my office. There's a baby. <laughs> there's a. At least it's not a bar. <laughs> there's a baby in a bar. It can be. Uh, we can get sidetracked through Facebook, uh, just through people. But if you have intentions and you have goals and you have a schedule, mm -hmm. and you stick to it and you take action, you will reach your potential. I want to. So how can we eliminate? All that. I think you're going to find that out in bold. I think so, and time blocking, and it's the it's the cliche terms you hear. It's just putting it into motion. Why is that so hard? It's because we're naturally progressive, like naturally lazy people. If we let ourselves be lazy, we will. Yeah, you know how hard it was for me to pick myself up and go run the other day? <laughs> I hadn't run in like months. Yeah. And I, I told myself, I'm like, get up. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Put your shoes on. It was like, you know, and then to do it. And then afterward, I'm like, that was awesome. Yeah. Why is it? There are skimmers and there's doers, you know. I'm a doer. Be a doer. But I want the results. Yeah. So, the think, consistent results. And you can't get the results without taking action. Right, man. That's right, baby. That's All right. right. Mm. That's right, baby. Fantastic Friday. Fantastic. Hatcher, do you have anything to add to that? <laughs> Look, you rock. His arms are up. Say, Dad, Dad, hey. Look right here, Hatcher. <laughs> Have a good Friday. <laughs> Yay!